Some say that when many acts of violence happen in some place, that place is changed forever. A mark, a bloody stain of what happened lingers, occasionally manifesting the memories it harbors. One such place is Lepp Castle. Resting in the green fields of County Offaly, Ireland, Lepp Castle bore witness to immense pain and unspeakable atrocities. Its history and the numerous presences who dwell there have earned it the moniker of most haunted castle in Ireland. Been between the years 1250 and 1500 by the clan O'Bannon, seized by the powerful and belligerent clan O'Carroll by the mid-1500s, that castle was the ground for many a bloodshed. A feud broke out within the O'Carroll clan, and for the sake of power, brothers went against brothers. One member of the clan, a priest, was saying mass in what is now known as the Bloody Chapel, when his brother plunged into the chapel and stabbed him to death, leaving him to die on top of the altar in front of his horrified family. His spirit has been spotted many a time, aimlessly wandering in the chapel before going down the stairway and disappearing into thin air, as if he had never been there. Many reports have been made of the lights of the chapel being turned on, some neighbors even contacted the current owner, thinking someone had simply forgotten to flip the switch on their way out. Visitors also report strange odors when visiting the chapel, including an odd smell of rubber. In 1642, the castle passed to the Darby family, who lived in the manor until 1922, when it was burnt down during the Irish Civil War. Over the years, they realized there was an impressive number of entities they had to share their home with. The spirits of two young girls, Emily and Charlotte, believed to have lived around the 1600s, are often seen on the property. Emily, thought to have been between 11 and 12, fell to her death from the castle battlements. The piercing scream of a girl has been often heard echoing in the ancient halls and corridors. Charlotte is believed to have been between 6 and 7, and is reportedly seen running after her sister, dragging her deformed right leg, which was turned backwards almost all the way. The frail figure seems to seek guidance from her older sibling, nurturing a deep bond even after death. The girls are sometimes seen with the spirit of the governess, or nanny. She is often felt, or appears to visitors, standing proud in her Victorian attire. Once, the current owner, folk singer Sean Ryan, was having a neighbour over for dinner when they witnessed the female figure walk across the main hall. Without a doubt, the sight surprised the group and the one sceptical neighbour changed his mind. The main hall is also the dwelling ground for an elderly man in old-fashioned clothing, who is often seen sitting peacefully by the fireplace, sometimes accompanied by the spirit of an old lady in a headdress. The old man occasionally tries to stop people as if trying to communicate something before fading away. The couple is sometimes joined by an old priest with a very sly look upon his face. The spirit of a woman in a red dress, known as the Red Lady, is seen in the Blue Room, once a nursery. She is said to have been abused by a member of the clan O'Carroll, who murdered the child born out of the violence before the eyes of the unfortunate woman, who then, in despair, used the same blade to end her own life. She has been described as holding a dagger in her hand high up above her head while advancing menacingly only to disappear before those unfortunate enough to witness the terrifying scene. Another female entity wandering the cold and damp rooms is said to be a murder victim at the hands of an O'Carroll. Her presence is usually announced by a relevant drop in temperature. She then appears in the icy room clad in very few clothes, a red cloth covering her face, and lets out two blood-curdling screams before fading into thin air. When the castle was renovated by the Darbys, a grisly discovery was made. Inside the bloody chapel there was an oubliette, a small room with a trap door where the floor should have been. Beneath it was a dungeon, a hole that swallowed its victims, forever forgotten in the belly of the stone manor. Sometimes the victims were dead or dying. In many cases, the victims were reportedly alive when they fell into the horrid pit. Trapped and with broken limbs from the fall, they survived for days, here in the world outside, hearing the laughter and the chattering of peasants, smelling the food that was being cooked, slowly starving to death or succumbing to their injuries. 
was a horrible way to go. During renovations, three cartloads of bones were collected from the oubliette, amounting to about 150 bodies. Some argue that the amount of negativity generated by all the atrocities that took place at Lepp Castle are what lies behind the horrid presence of the elemental spirit. They say that all the evil that took place condensed into a conscious entity which manifests with the putrid smell and decomposing facial features. Two gaping holes are where its eyes should have been. The figure has no nose and it appears like a greyish humanoid form. Some speculate that because of its appearance it could be the spirit of an O'Carroll who died of leprosy. The presence has been part of the castle since ancient times and it is said to manifest only when provoked. This has led some to believe that the entity was evoked by ancient druids to protect a sacred ground, the same ground where the castle now stands. Whatever its nature, it is one of the scariest and most sinister entities who reside at Lev Castle. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more mysterious content.